Okay, it's reading time again, and happy Wednesday. So let's read along with me. We're looking at the Tour de France. The Tour de France is the world's most famous and arguably the hardest cycling race. It takes place every year and lasts for three weeks, covering more than 3,500 kilometres. Okay, the history of the race. During the late 19th century, cycling became a very popular hobby for many people. And as time went on, organised bike racing was introduced and professional cycling became very big in France. On the 6th of July 1903, 60 cyclists set off. They covered 2,428 kilometres in a circular route through six stages. 18 days later, 21 of the original 60 cyclists made it back to the finish line in Paris. The winner was Maurice Garin and the Tour de France was born. The race has taken place every year since then, except during wartime. As the Tour became more and more popular, the course was made longer and challenging mountain climbs were introduced. The route and race today. Every year the tour begins in a different country. The route of the race also changes every year but usually finishes at the Champs d'Elysees in Paris. Every day is a new stage of the race and winners of each stage are, awar are awarded with different coloured jerseys. The white jersey is given to the best rider under 26 years of age. The red polka dot jersey is for the best climber who is called the King of the Mountains. The green jersey is awarded to the best sprinter and the yellow jersey is for the leader of the race. The overall winner of the Tour de France is the cyclist that has ridden the full route in the quickest time. Bradley Wiggins became the first British rider to win the Tour de France in 2012, which was followed by a second British winner, Chris Froome, in 2013. Let's have a look at our questions today. So, as usual, you can write the date in your book. Have a go at answering these questions. Pause the video when you're ready and come back when you've answered the questions and we'll go through the answers together. Okay. So question one, when was the first ever Tour de France? This first ever race began on the 6th of July 1903. How many cyclists made it to the finish line of the first race? 21 of the original 60 cyclists made it back to the finish line. Question three. What is the nickname given to the winner of the red polka dot jersey? The winner of the red polka dot jersey is known as the King of the Mountains. What do the green and white jerseys mean? At the end of every stage, the white jersey is given to the best rider under 26 and the green jersey is given to the best sprinter. And question five. Why do you think different coloured jerseys are given to the winners of each stage? Well, your answer may include, it shows the achievements of the best cyclist of each stage, or it helps the spectators to identify the race leader, the best sprinter, the best climber, or the best rider under 26. Okay, thank you everyone, and we'll see you again tomorrow.